In the next few videos, we'd like to show you how to adjust the pilot screw and idle screw on a carburetor. Today we go pilot screw first. Before adjusting, let's get to know how a carb works. Take the Nibby PWK 32mm carb as an example. With a smaller opening, we connect the engine to this side. On the opposite, connects to the filter. The air comes from the filter side, mixes up with the fuel jetted from the float bowl. Then, the air fuel mixture is delivery through the left side, and finally burn in the engine. The main function of a carb is to boost performance of your engine by adjusting the air fuel ratio. Here is the pilot screw, which adjusts the air fuel mixture ratio, screwing it in clockwise. The air fuel mixture is richer, screwing it out anti clockwise. The air fuel mixture is leaner. First, let's restore it to the factory settings. With a slotted screwdriver, we screw it in clockwise until it's slightly seated. Then screws it out one and a half turns. One turn. And a half. This is the factory settings for this screw. Then you could get it installed and adjusted based on the settings. You may ask, how does this pilot screw work? Let's get to know its philosophy. Screw the float valve screws out and take off the float bowl. With the float is taking off as well. We can see the connection between them clearly. Screw the pilot screw out. This is an air fuel mixture screw. Let's continue to take the whole base off. Now we can see the screw hole connects to the air inflow hole with the light on. This spot is just the air inflow hole. Now you understand why the air fuel mixture screw controls the air inflow when idling. Air flows in through this hole in the middle. There are several holes down at the bottom. Let's see what are they for. This one is the inflow hole for the pilot jet. The smaller one above adjusts the air inflow. And the one on the left side is an outflow hole for the air fuel mixture. Put the base back again. Here is where the mixture screw locates. The function of this screw is to control the opening of the air inflow hole. You know, a fixed amount of fuel jetted through the pilot jet. And from this formula, we could understand the air fuel ratio. Take a constant one to represent the fixed injection of the fuel. The air inflow is variable from 1 to 10. The ratio between them represents a rich or lean air fuel mixture. If the mixture screw is completely screwed in, the air inflow is variable to 1, which means it has the richest air fuel mixture. With screwing out turns by turns, the air inflows more and more, and the air fuel mixture becomes leaner and leaner. In all, the pilot screw adjusts the air fuel mixture ratio by affecting the air inch flow through pilot jet. Let's back to the carb and adjust the pilot screw. With screwing out, it allows more air inflow. The air fuel mixture is leaner. With screwing in, it reduces the air inflow. The air fuel mixture is richer. Now you know how this pilot screw works.